So today we will build a beginner-friendly variation of the famous Krell patch in the grid, which can be great as a starting point for generative patches and also for creating all sorts of textures. By the way, you don't need to know anything about a Krell patch to enjoy this technique, but I highly recommend experimenting with it and exploring it further. So here again I have an empty grid patch and we will start with our sound source, which in this case for this video will be the sign oscillator. As always, I created a few more variations for my patrons if you are interested, links in the description. And now we will send this oscillator through an attack decay envelope to the output, right? So I just connect the oscillator through the envelope to the audio output. And this technique involves setting this envelope to loop so it will continuously run. And this we can do with this button here. This will make sure the envelope will loop. And now as long as the envelope is gated, it will loop again and again. And you can use a clip for this, for example, with one long note. So it will play as long as you want it to play. But for this demonstration, I want, uh, I want it always to loop. So we can just use a signal that will act as an open gate. For this, we can use something like a constant signal, right? Something like this. Right, this will always output the value of one. And if I connect this to the envelope input, it will act as an open gate. And as you can see, the envelope will just continue, will just continue looping again and again. Right, this will be just like holding a key or just like having one long note in a clip. Right, now let's add another looping envelope. I will duplicate this one, but in this case, we don't need the audio. So I will just disconnect this. Let's set this to different times. Let's say something like this, right? And this we will use to modulate the timbre of this oscillator, let's say, right? Something like this. In this case, it's default. Let's make it also stereo a bit, right? Something like this, right? And now actually let's have two more looping envelopes. So again, I will just duplicate what you already have, the audio we don't really need. Right, and now what we will do, we will use each envelope to modulate the times, the attack and decay times of the other envelopes. Right, so for example, the fourth one can modulate, let's say, the second, the attack of the second, the decay of the first. Right, we are going to create a sort of a a sort of a mycelium, a mycelial network of modulation here, right? Of the, from the envelope, from one envelope to another. We can also mix them a bit, right? So even though, for example, this is already modulated, we can modulate it again with another envelope and let's have this also a bit, right? And just make sure that everything here is being, is in motion. Is there something I didn't modulate? No, for now everything is modulated. Let's do maybe another one. I don't know, just for fun. Um, let's do this maybe. Let's do this. Right, so now we have four looping envelopes modulating each other. Right, creating this beautiful movement in the sound. Right, if I take the attack here, maybe a bit down, the decay also. Right, everything is affecting everything, maybe here a bit more modulation. Of course, this will work also in hardware. There are many modules in hardware that have two or even four envelopes that can loop. Right, and now let's do this. Let's introduce also random pitch variation. And for this, we will use sample and hold. Right, this will be under level. And as we've seen in the previous video, there is nothing random really with sample and hold. It will all depend on the signal you are feeding it. So for random results, we will need a random signal, which in this case will be noise, which you can really find under the random menu here. Right, so the noise will be the input for the sample and hold. So the sample and hold will eat with each trigger will generate a random value that then we will then later on use for pitch. And now what I want is that with each new cycle of the of this envelope of the amplitude, 
envelope with each new cycle we will get a new node now there are many ways we can do this in this case we will use a comparator this will be under logic i will use this one here comparator assess assessing if two signals are roughly equal right so now this comparator will compare two signals one will be the amplitude envelope right i'm just taking the envelope from the attack decay module here right and the other signal will be in this case again constant value right for now i will take it down to zero right and this result from the comparator will trigger the sample and hold so now whenever the amplitude envelope equals zero and this is not totally accurate we will fine-tune this in a second but whenever it's down we will get a trigger so whenever it starts the sample and hold will generate a new value and with each new cycle we get a new note now since we will be using this for pitch I would also like to control the range a bit so it's not going too high and too low right so for this I can use the pitch scaler right so now everything that comes out from the sample and hold will be in the range of C3 to C4 actually you know what let's take this up to G4 right so we have this range of um, possible notes or possible uh, values and this will go to our voice we don't need the pre-code in this case because we are not using external pitch information and the attenuverter will go all the way up and now again the constant value will go to the comparator the comparator will compare the envelope and the constant value so now we have to fine-tune it, fine it a bit I found out that taking it to 5 here will work right So now again, for each cycle, we get a new note. Right, the level of the envelope goes up and down. When it goes down enough, a trigger will come out of the comparator, triggering the sample and hold, which will generate a new note, and then another cycle, and another cycle, and so on and so forth. Right, we can add some delay and reverb to this. And let's enjoy this for a second. Of course, we can fine-tune the envelopes also. Make them a bit different from one another. Right, now I would like to have this also quantized to a, a few notes or a certain scale. Right, and this we can do quite easily. With the pitch quantize, I just add it in between the pitch scaler and the oscillator and I will go with these sets or with this set of notes. and again you can fine-tune the modulation depth you can fine-tune the um, envelope times you can use other voices there are so many directions you can take this in right i added here a few more voices every kick hi-hats bass and a sort of an arpeggiator i'm going to play with this a bit thank you again for watching cheers